The troop is going through its own set of water woes. They had a main water main break on Monday, leaving them potentially with unsafe water. KDK's Annalise Copel has been following the boil water notice all week, and she now has our report. We're having a lot of water problems down here. And it's not a new problem for East Texas. Back in September, Palestine issued a boil notice for residents. In both October and November, many people in Jacksonville were issued a do not use order due to fungicide in their water supply. Now the city of Troop is telling locals to boil water because of a main water break. When I was there, there was still water just bubbling out of the ground. And it was right beside the railroad tracks and it had uh, there was a substantial amount of water that was standing and a, and a substantial amount that was still coming out. Draining the quarter million gallons of water that's in this water tower and an additional quarter million gallons of water in an underground tank. After spending hours fixing the break in the 8-inch cast iron water line, the pressure levels were considered unsafe by the state, so a boil notice was issued. Once you reach the no pressure, deadline, then there's a certain amount of testing that has to be done to make sure the water's safe to drink. The city hopes that testing will be finished by Thursday, so residents will have full access to their water supply. I feel like they'll get it fixed, but it's just going to take time. Time and the okay from the state. Annalise Coble, KETK News. So we did some digging and we checked with the Troop Independent School District, and they say the school will be open through the boil water notice, and they are handing out bottled water to students, and they have made a few changes to their menu. So look for updates on the notice on our website, EastTexasMatters.com.